Hello and welcome back to our Stationers playthrough. Yes, in the previous episode we have built the Recycler and the Centrifuge and in today's episode we shall be building the gas collection. So our furnace that we have right now here has been expanding the gases into the atmosphere which is not really environmentally friendly and also is, well, I simply say a waste of good gas. So, we don't want to be wasting gas now, do we? Right, so, without further ado, we need to put a big old tank in the back and a volume pump that will be feeding it. So, without further ado, let's get cracking. Also, one thing that we want to note is, while we are here, I want to be building a couple... Oh, iron frames? Hell no! I will take steel frames, thank you very much. And while these are being produced, I'm gonna go just quickly cycle to the interior and I'm gonna pick up the crops that we have already brewing because I'm worried that, uh, yeah, things will get very heated inside and it, they will eventually die. So, yeah, don't, don't pressurize, Sunny, just let it be, let it rip. Thank you so much. See, the temperature is already 29 degrees inside, so... Yeah, I'm harvesting wheat. I want to put it here in my backpack. Then I want to be... Oh, not clear, dang it. Was it clear? Oh, it's harvest corn. Thank you, harvest corn. This was mainly clear corn. Oh boy. Well, okay, never mind. Uh, I need also this here. I will need some more pipes, I guess. And maybe, just maybe, we will need a pipe valve as well. And uh, I'm gonna pick it up, so yeah. There's that. Uh, and we will need to install temperature regulatory system somewhere around here. But that will do probably in the later episode. So <clears throat> for the time being, I think the main issue is actually fixing that gas collection, because we will need gas collection for the cooling system as well. We have some nitrogen that we have lovingly collected in the previous episode. However, I think it would be highly beneficial that we actually solve that later on. Now, fridge, open up. We have some more wheat here, so I'm gonna just bunch it up. And rice we have here, and corn we have here. Good. Wrap it up, Sunny. Okay, uh, oh boy, you really went overboard with frames, right? So, all right. Well, you know, no matter, we will be using them to good extent. I just hope that you didn't use all of my steel. No, you didn't. Good. Well, <clears throat> we have at least now enough iron frames, or sorry, steel frames that we can build the actual gas collection here. And I'm actually going to just disconnect this little thing over here because uh no is it that or right sorry i need to oh that requires a wrench okay wrench is getting deconstructed air vent we're gonna be putting in our inventory and then we were gonna deconstruct this 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 up to the pump and i mean ultimately it will go further out but we're going to be fixing that later anyway. So <clears throat> with that thing being said, let's now start assembling the frames. I didn't intend to do as many frames, but well, while we have them, might as well use them, right? So expand our base a little bit, you know, live a little, see the world, you know, visit the countryside, talk about the, protect the forest and whatnot. Now, uh, yeah, I'm just babbling and using some filler time, yes. Sorry about that. Now, that, that. There we go. Oh, if I put this, I won't have a good way up. No, I'm not gonna put those. Right, so that thing being put here, I have four steel sheets. I might as well actually produce a couple more steel sheets. <clears throat> this time only I won't be going too far while we are, you know, printing them out. Yeah, I think I need around eight or how many? Let's see. Four, six, or 
one two three four five six so that would be 12 in total okay let's see if we have enough I don't think we have enough yet okay we had one girder there that's interesting that girder will be going on here and one more good thank you that would be 12 thank you so much now let's quickly weld them together and let's see if our arc welder is worth the money we paid for it so one two come on looks good so far All right, oops. Now we want to be, so that thing is done, good. Now what I want to be seeing from the pipe bender, if I want to be making a big tank and I want to, and now when I'm talking big tank, I'm talking big tank. So tank, uh, and I'm thinking insulated might be better. So we need copper, steel and silicone. Well, we don't have any silicone now, do we? Uh, I don't think we have enough or we'd have any silicone to be perfectly frank so we will need to go and dig it out somewhere you know what that means mining jobs for the win and it's uh, we'll need a lot of silicone because I don't know how many we'll need for the insulated large tank what do we really need? Do we need hot gases, cool gases? I think we can actually use the environment to cool the gases. No, this is not Europa. So, tank. We're not going to go for the insulated. Can't. Tank. Liquid tank, portable gas tank, tank connector. Where's the just kit tank? Thank you. Copper, steel. Okay, that we have. We just need to spit it out of, I believe, here. At least steel we need to spit out. Thank you. So, iron and uh, steel. There we go. And then we need to print out copper. How much copper we got? I hope that we have some significant amount of copper. Otherwise, this will come to a very brief escapade. Yeah, we will have enough. Okay. So, <clears throat> spit out the copper, Sonny. Of course, copper comes last. Yeah, so gold, this, oh. One. Did I just put in the copper? No, I did not. Copper goes here. Silicone. Oh, we have some silicone. Tell you what, I'm going to cram you in here. You never know. When we'll be needing this stuff all right so uh you need to print out a couple of tanks for us i don't know how many let's start with one while i go in and change the battery that is in my backpack so you drop this here please battery swap yeah i'll need bigger batteries but that's okay okay now i can turn off the lights have we got one tank Yes, we have one tank. Let's see if we can make it two. Okay, so two. Now, if I want to be big tank, how much more we need? For large tank, we need how many? Need more kit tank, it doesn't say. Okay, so let's check out the tank. Portable gas, portable gas, 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 gas. Liquid tank, small, large tank. Constructed from five total. Do we have, we have, we need three more. We'll have just amount. Let's first actually do this. So volume pump, I need the volume pump. Oh, I need gold for that. Of course I need gold for that. What else, what was I thinking? So yeah. Right, so, once again, shuffling priorities. 
I mean, there is actually a better way to do this, guys, but, you know, it happens. So, there we go. So, volume, one volume pump coming up. Good. That's volume pump solved. And then we need three more tanks. Kit, not tank insulated, just regular tank, please. And I'll take three. <clears throat> because this will be, uh, give us one huge tank. And the reason for me having wanting to have a huge tank is we want to be collecting as many uh, gases as possible in our exhaust part. So, yeah. In our exhaust pipes. So that's one. That's four, and then the last one. We'll need to make more steel, I guess, in the next episode, uh, but we'll see how it goes. Right. So... Come on, spit it out, Sunny. I don't have filler content for whole day. Thank you. Now. Large tank. Good. There it is. And I'm thinking if we will be building any so sort of gas sorter... We want to have this tank somewhere about uh, here-ish, or how, how, how big is it? Is it one or two? One and a half. So if it's one and a half, then something here-like would be groovy. Done. See? Aha! It works perfectly. Now, with the wrench, I'm going to be disassembling you, 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 and you, because, well, reasons. Now, the valve, we already had at one place. We can actually take a few of these. And the volume pump, I'm thinking of placing right about there. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's see. So, uh, you go like... Yeah, I, I want to be actually be able to control the volume pump while I am here. -ish. So maybe, just maybe, I should do the following. Yes, I like how you're thinking, Grown Fork. So, like, we turn it actually here. Then we turn it here. And then we turn it here. And then, oh, I like to complicate things, don't I? Yes, I do. Ah, uh, that's all fair. Now, that having put here gives me the ability to control this damn thing. And then I'm going to be placing you here. I think you can already see where I'm going with this. There we go. This one will be one that will be going back and forth. This will be with a valve, maybe even. Oh, uh, you're overthinking things, Grom Forks. Now, as usual. Now, volume pump, we put it here. There we go. And this will be pumping the excess gases into the tank over there. And I want to be able to close off that valve so we don't get backlash backwards. Tell you what. <clears throat> can I actually put it here? I'm, I'm just curious. Can we put the valve here? I don't think so. I'm not sure. Yes, we can't. Okay, that solves one problem. And for the time being, you'll be on open. Good. Uh, the rest, what we need, <clears throat> will be electricity. So, electrical cables. And for those, we of course, we need copper. Um, 
Right. Purge, son. That's why I keep everything in one machine so that this shit don't happen. There we go. Right, so power cables. I have some, but I would like more, please. Thank you. Now, that being said, let's take this and let's take you. And we connect them. Ah, I had enough. What do you know? In this case... Still, it's gonna be used. Right, so... That being said, I think we have actually... Successfully made the gas collection. So, let's see, what do we have? 3.31 mega pressure temperature and... We don't know actually the gas mix. Can I examine the gas mix? What do I have here? I have a tracker cartridge. Uh, where are the rest of my cartridges? Now, let's see. You. Network analyzer. Wrong one. Atmos analyzer. There we go. So what do we have inside? 80% CO2, some H2, some X, and something. Everything. Good. Now, if... We say that we want volume pump to be at maximum and we just press it on. The pressure should be dropping significantly. 1.7, 1.5, there we go. And the pressure in this should be rising. Beautifully. So that's kind of the whole <clears throat> shenanigan when it comes to Filling, I mean, the CO2 we technically don't need. We will be more interested in this, for example, the X that you see, which is the pollutant. That would be more interesting to us at the moment. However, uh, you have to be always careful in terms of... And this is good because here we can create vacuum, which will be much more appreciated later on once we actually want to be smelting stuff. It will be actually easier to control the furnace itself. However... I actually think that we are pretty much, well, yeah, let's see if we manage to get it entirely sucked out of air because, well, yeah, create a vacuum in our little furnace, that would be perfect. Yeah, it's, it's draining, it's draining, it's going very nicely. Overall, I'm actually pretty happy with the way that thing, this thing is working. And this will be approaching asymp asymptotic value of zero, but it might take a little while till it gets there. See? Let's see, we, I mean, what happens if it really reaches nil. I'm always worried that it will, you know, drag indefinitely and I'll run out of things to say, so what? Yeah, let's see if we go. What happens if we go to zero Pascal? What's here? It's five Pascal. Four, two, one, and NA. Perfect. See? Now we can actually stop the volume pump. It does no longer need to work. And we actually have ourselves a little vacuum in the pipes. So, guys, I think this is a good place as any to wrap it up for the today's episode. You know what to do. If you liked the episode, smash that like button like there's no tomorrow and subscribe for more and I'll reach you through all of my contact networks. So thank you very much for watching. I'm Gromforks and I'll see you in my next video. This is Gromforks, signing off.